entering the ring, Henry Martinez. The fighter out of El Salvador, now living in San Francisco, California, climbs up into the ring here at the pit. It is a packed house. I've never seen anything like this. The atmosphere is electric. And right now, you hear the music and the roar goes up for the hometown hero, the undefeated Johnny Tapia. There you see him with his trainer manager, Paul Chavez, leading him into the ring. It's a huge night for Johnny. He's come all the way back from the bottom. And tonight he gets his shot at the WBO Super Flyweight World Title against Henry Martinez here in front of his home crowd. Again, this crowd is just buzzing and I've never felt anything like this. It's incredible. The love for Johnny Tapia. And this is the big night that he has been waiting for. He gets his shot. It's the vacant title and he will have to go through Henry Martinez. Martinez with a record of 16, one and one, nine of those wins by knockout. As we look in at Johnny Tapia. Danny Romero Jr. Is, the, is in attendance, holding the NABF championship. But right now, the main event, Johnny Tapia. Miguel Diaz working the corner of Henry Martinez. And this is a big moment for Martinez as well but he has to come to the hometown of Johnny Tapia, which is sure to energize the fighter known as Mi Vida Loca. There was a time when we thought Johnny would never see this moment, but he's climbed back, scratched and clawed his way back. And now we're set, let's go up to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the introductions.
Okay, so the two have been introduced by Michael Buffer. And I tell you, I've, I've just never felt the energy like this anywhere in my boxing experience. Johnny Tapia going for the world championship tonight here in the pit. And here we go, boxing history about to be made. Can Johnny Tapia come back all the way to the world title? This is what he's been fighting for. Round one is underway. Henry Martinez in the blue and white trunks. Johnny Tapia in the black trunks, obviously, written across the front waistband. Tapia, there you see Johnny now going to work. Johnny Tapia with that very recognizable, straight stand-up boxing style, fast hands. Good foot movement and a heart like no other. This guy has a chin of iron. He's fearless. And he is set to win the world title tonight, but he has to go through Henry Martinez. Martinez coming in with a mark of 16 1 and 1. Nine of those wins by knockout. has been impressive. We looked at tape provided to Paul Chavez for this fight, and uh, Henry Martinez is a worthy opponent for Johnny Tapia. It's going to be a real test for Johnny. There you see Martinez now trying to go to the body of Johnny Tapia. Again, Martinez working that left hand to the body. Tapia misses with the counter shot. There's that left hand that digs up at the waist right at the waistline, and Johnny Tapia tried to get the referee to notice it. Here comes Johnny Tapia fired up. Referee has to hold him back. Again, you'll see Tapia work with that left hand. He's got an incredibly fast and powerful good left hand. One of the things that makes Johnny Tapia so special is that stamina. The guy is just a ball of energy. And he often just wears his opponents down. Right now you see Martinez though going to work. Martinez landing some good solid shots, especially those body shots to Tapia. There you see now both guys trade. There's Johnny Tapia with his trademark left hand to the body. Professional boxing coming to you from the pit here in Albuquerque. A packed and live house, and now you see Tapia score on the counter punches. Martinez continues to move forward. Dan Cisneros on the side. You're watching the eight count boxing hour. Tapia moves Martinez back and Martinez comes firing back out. And that ends the first round. A good opening round. Both guys doing good work in that opening round. As we look into the corner of Johnny Tapia, Paul Chavez is his trainer manager. So we jump into round two now. After a good opening round, kind of setting the tone for things here, you'll see Henry Martinez trying to move forward and be aggressive, and Johnny Tapia trying to get those angles and counter punch his way to a world title here. There you saw Tapia trying that overhand, that right hand over the jab of Martinez. Henry Martinez, good fast hands. It's not gonna be easy for Johnny to 
really outspeed him, although Johnny is the speed merchant in this one. We're in the second round, scheduled for 12 for the WBO world title. As the referee gets in and separates the two. Tapia focused like a laser beam on Henry Martinez. There's that little short left that just catches the forehead of Martinez. Henry Martinez continues to dig to the body. And Tapia banks it with a couple of left hands. The referee is scolding him. And Tapia is trying to tell the ref, well, what about what Martinez is doing? And here we go. There's Henry Martinez now firing that big right hand. Johnny Tapia is probably the favorite in this match, but certainly the favorite with this crowd. I mean, this place is just packed as we look around the arena. I've never seen anything like it. And there's Tapia now trying to go with that left hand to the body. And if he starts to score with that, he could really change things. Johnny Tapia, just the beloved boxer from Albuquerque, New Mexico, the champion of the state of New Mexico. And his dream come true tonight, a shot at the WBO world title. Again, Martinez with both hands. He'll try to slip that right hand in, but you can see Martinez working with that left hand to the body. He has apparently scouted Johnny Tapia very well. Martinez probably cannot match Tapia with hand speed, but he's certainly with technique. He's a good, well-balanced boxer. And now the chant goes up, Johnny, Johnny, from the crowd. And now Tapia starts to rip at Martinez. Martinez takes it well and fires back. Tapia was smart there. He did not get suckered into an exchange, but rather he backed away. And that ends the second round. Look into the corner of Henry Martinez. His trainers animated, giving him lots of instructions here. This is Henry Martinez's big chance at the World Championship. But what a way to go, though, coming into the hometown of Johnny Tapia. Two good rounds, though. Both guys doing some good work here. Tapia needs to stay under control. I think he will be able to in this one. It means so much to him. Paul Chavez, the man that has guided him all the way back from the brink. I mean, it looked like his career was over, but he was given another chance and he's made the most of it, working his way back, being fast-tracked by his promoter, Top Rank, and here he is fighting for the world title. So we're underway with round three here at the pit. Dan Cisneros at ringside bringing you this world title fight. And now the two exchange, and there's a lot of body shots going on in this one. Both guys looking for the long haul, trying to soften their opponent up. And now Tapia bangs Martinez back into the ropes that brings the crowd alive. Johnny Tapia, the celebrated amateur boxer from New Mexico. And now as a professional, undefeated hoping to keep that undefeated record intact and pick up the, his first world title. He has held the USBA title. And 
So far, so good, although Henry Martinez is really pushing Johnny Tapia this week. Martinez not taking a backward step, being the aggressor. Smartly ties up Martinez as Martinez crowds him. Again, this has been a body war. Both guys working to the body. We'll see who can have the most effect on his opponent in this one. Again, you see Tapia working with that left hand to the body. You're going to see a lot of that tonight. I'm pretty sure. And that ends round three. A roar goes up from the crowd. They like what they're seeing here. Johnny Tapia staying in control and scoring well. said earlier it's been an incredible just an incredible night of boxing here at the pit in Albuquerque the undercard has been spectacular lots of local fighters on the undercard and but everybody just waiting to erupt as Johnny Tapia goes for his first world title here so three three rounds in the books neither fighter really dominating Tapia probably with the edge but Martinez has worked hard. And here we go with round four. Henry Martinez, Johnny Tapia from the pit here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, the referee doing his best to keep control here. And now Tapia unleashes a barrage. Oh, and there's a left hand that scores from Tapia. And a right hand. Johnny Tapia now starting to get to Henry Martinez just a little bit. You can feel a little bit of a difference here. And Tapia raising his hands to the crowd to get the cheering going, and they do exactly what he asked for. Tapia feeds off the power of the crowd. He loves his fans, and they love him. Henry Martinez, a lonely soul here in Albuquerque, as there's not a whole lot of fans for Henry Martinez in this one. It's all on him, but he's doing a good job coming forward, being aggressive, and going after Johnny Tapia. And now Martinez with a couple of shots to the head. Tapia gives him a okay, nods yes at him. Johnny Tapia, the beloved boxer from Albuquerque, is animated. He is an entertainer. And the hopes of Albuquerque are with him tonight. I mean, this crowd is just tuned in. I've never seen anything like it. There you see Martinez trying to work with those uppercuts on the inside. Tapia can do well at distance, but he can also fight inside if he needs to. You want to get rough with him, he'll get rough. He's a beautiful boxer. There you see that left hand to the body. If Tapia can just fall back on those boxing skills, he has so much natural talent, and all the skills that he's learned along the way, he can, he can really take control of about. Got to keep those emotions in check. He's done a good job so far. It's probably hard to do with the crowd roaring for him. <laughs> I mean, it's giving me chills. I'm just sitting here at ringside. Oh, 
ball. A good one here at the pit. There you see Tapia now trying to get that right hand in. Martinez stays with him. Henry Martinez doing a good job of, of uh, staying with Johnny Tapia, keeping that distance where he wants it. Oh, and he runs into a right hand for Tapia. Answers with a right of his own. Henry Martinez in top condition as he has been strong throughout. And that ends the fourth round. Tapia staying focused. Paul Chavez doing a great job keeping him under control. And so far, so good. He looks like he may be on his way to his first world title, but he's got a long way to go still. Henry Martinez really working him. Go into round five now. Scheduled for 12 rounds, the WBA Super Flyweight Championship of the World at stake. NABF champion Danny Romero seated right behind me here and as I look around, and he is focused too. have talked about a big money showdown between Tapia and Romero and uh, no plans for that right now but there's been a lot of talk about it but Johnny's got to make sure he <laughs> picks up this world title tonight against Henry Martinez and Martinez is not making it easy you can see Martinez continue to work lots of shots to the body Johnny Tapia's conditioning may be tested in this one tonight as the rounds go by Henry Martinez with a consistent attack. And there you see was a little bang into the body on, while he was tied up. Martinez has not taken a step back and he has continued to push forward. His stamina will probably be tested also as he continues to work so hard moving forward. Johnny Tapia just stepping around, trying to get the, just the right distance and the angles. Johnny Tapia is a master at angle boxing. Again, Martinez marching forward, throwing his hands. Oh, and there's a right hand from Tapia that scores to the head of Martinez. Martinez takes it well. Johnny Tapia, not known as a knockout artist. He's more of a slasher. He's the guy that'll just rip you apart round by round. Blazing fast hands. He's always had that. <laughs> and his footwork and angles, there's that body shot. Boy, that left hand from Johnny Tapia. He rips that left to the body and it is effective. We're just about at the close of round five. And round five is in the books.
Thanks again to everyone for tuning in. A historic night here at the pit. Tapia trying to stay loose and relaxed. You know his emotions are swelling up. But he was pretty loose at the at the weigh-in in the press conference. Uh, at the weigh-in, we were surprised at how uh, how loose he was. Ordinarily, he kind of tightens up before a fight, but not not for this one. He seemed pretty darn confident. The man on a mission with a lot to prove, fighting for his hometown of Albuquerque, Johnny Tapia, round six underway now. Henry Martinez, a native of El Salvador, now fighting out of San Francisco, California. Coming in, and there's those Martinez on the attack. Henry Martinez has been sharp tonight. He is really ready for this one. Both men right-handers. Johnny Tapia has not worked behind the jab as much as we thought he might. He's been going with a lot more of a body attack. Henry Martinez started things going right to the body from round one, and he stayed with that body attack. And Tapia answering in kind. There's some fast blazing left hands from Johnny Tapia. Again, Tapia steps back and fires with those left hands. Just missing with the right, but comes back with the left and score. There's a left, a jab right in the face of Martinez. But Martinez does not take a step back. This guy is just moving forward. And now you see Johnny with the right hand. Whichever hand is there, Johnny takes it. A beautiful boxing exhibition by Johnny Tapia. You can see why boxing fans just love this guy. A style that just is amazing. And there you see Johnny now landing with both hands. I had the privilege of having uh, Johnny and Paul at my home for that interview you saw in the Eight Count Boxing Hour. And uh, you could tell that Johnny was just so focused for this fight. Nothing else on his mind but Henry Martinez. And Paul Chavez also very confident that Johnny would win the world title tonight. And here we are 10 days later, and it's happening. But Henry Martinez has just proven himself to be a tough challenge, a tough nut to crack for Johnny Tapia. We are now in the sixth round of this war. So the two have settled into a just it's just a grueling match here. A little of everything. They'll go inside, they'll fight outside, body shots, jabs, and there's Johnny now playing to the crowd. The crowd responds and Tapia continues to dig. Both guys are actually trading body shots. Probably don't want to get into a body war with Johnny Tapia. I'm telling you, that guy has a left hand of the body that is really a, a thing of beauty. And that ends the sixth round, so we're halfway through this one. The world title here on the eight count boxing hour. This has been an entertaining bout. Crowd on edge as Henry Martinez has continued to work well. Coming in with a record of 16, 1 and 1, nine of those wins by knockout. Tapia came into this one with a record of 26, 0 and 1 draw, 18 by knockout. That draw coming in his pro debut has been undefeated ever since. Oliver on the outside of the ring and we're talking to Johnny Tapia. Paul Chavez is cornered out of the inside. So this bout is halfway through. Johnny Tapia halfway to a world title. Here we go with round seven. Albuquerque, New Mexico. You can just feel the energy of this crowd waiting to erupt. But so far, neither guy has been in trouble. Neither guy's been hurt. 
They've been stung. Oh, Tapia with a good straight left. Just snaps the head back of Martinez. Henry Martinez with a solid chin. We know Johnny Tapia's chin is made of iron. He can take a shot. I don't know that I've ever seen him really hurt in a fight. shot as he was moving back. Tapia, a master of taking what you give him. But Henry Martinez just continues to move forward. He wants this world title. What a win it would be for him to defeat Johnny Tapia in Albuquerque and win a world title. Everything on the line for Henry Martinez. Now again with the combinations. Nothing like hand speed. And Tapia has plenty of it. We're in the seventh round, set for 12. Looks like a little mark on Henry Martinez's eye. Some of those slashing shots from Tapia are starting to, to swell up the eye of Mar Oh, and there's a right hand from Tapia. Johnny lands a solid right hand. The left eye of Martinez is really starting to puff up here. Let's see if Johnny starts to target that. Martinez, though, just continuing to move forward, staying close and working. Oh, there's a left hand from Tapia and a right hand. Tapia starting to score now. Pretty consistently. Johnny Tapia has been very patient in this fight. Again, a mark of his uh, consistency with his fight plan. Doing exactly what Paul Chavez wants him to do. And that ends round seven. More than halfway through and Tapia raises his hands. He can feel it. We are ready to head into round eight. Unofficially here at the eight count boxing hour, we have Johnny Tapia ahead on the scorecard. But there's a long way to go in this one. Chavez doing a great job of just staying calm and keeping Johnny calm and under control. If Johnny can just contain those emotions for a few more rounds, we may have a world champion here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And here we go now. Oh, and there's a big shot. The spray goes flying. Round eight underway here. A lot of boxing yet to be done. You get the feeling that Johnny Tapia is starting to feel in control of this one. Starting to relax. That's That would be bad for Henry Martinez. When Johnny Tapia is relaxed and confident, look out. But Martinez continues to move in, and he throws some solid left hands. There you see Tapia now work with those with the left hands down and up, or up and down, going to the head, coming back to the body. Nice combination punching from Johnny Tapia. Oh, and he just misses with a right hand. Now you see Tapia moving around the outside. Again, looking for those angles. And he can explode. 
Martinez with a good steady straight ahead attack. Not quite as elusive as Tapia, but certainly as aggressive. Henry Martinez has kept the distance where he wants it. Giving himself the best shot at this world title. The WBO World Championship bout coming to you from the pit here in Albuquerque. Electricity in the air. Oh, and Martinez. Oh, and Tom Mart Tapia lands a good shot that snaps the head back. And that just sets Martinez into motion. And Tapia answers back. Big shot from Tapia, snapped the head back of Martinez. Martinez took it well. The guy's got a solid chin, no doubt about it. Johnny just continuing to work, knowing that he's got a tough guy in front of him here. Henry Martinez really looks well conditioned and ready to go tonight. Combination again. There's a the left hand to the body from Johnny Tapio. Martinez continues to work, and Tapia answers back. One, two, three combination punching for Johnny Tapia has been effective, and that ends the eighth round. As we head into round nine of this one. ready to enter round nine of this one for the world title. Just four rounds to go. And you see Martinez again trying to get that left hand in. Comes back with a right hand over the jab of Tapia. Martinez continues to work to the body. He's, he's sold on that plan, that fight plan. He's sticking with it. And now Johnny lands some good shots that backs Martinez up. And there's a good left hand that snaps the head back of Martinez. This is about where Tapia's uh, stamina should come into play here. Round nine. Tapia continuing to work Peck away with that left hand. Martinez keeping his defense tight, his hands up. But you can see Martinez now just a little bit less aggressive. Tapia starting to be the aggressor here. Pushes Martinez back into the ropes. Again, Tapia slashing now with some good shots. Starting to get to Henry Martinez. And that eye is really puffing up on Henry. They've done a good job. In in his corner, Miguel Diaz, his cut man, uh, working with the swell to keep that eye under control, but it is puffing up. And there you see Tapia again, finishing with the left hand of the body. You see that swollen left eye of Henry Martinez when he turns around this way, you'll see it starting to really puff up. And you know Johnny Tapia's got to be focusing that jab on that eye. But Johnny Tapia with a good assortment of punches, not sticking with any one, one punch. He's been throwing everything, jabs, body shots, hooks, right hands. 
good punch selection from Johnny Tapia. I mean, he's versatile. He can, he can slug and he can box. He can do it all. And Henry Martinez, though, continues to stay close. There's a right hand from Tapia. Good counter right. So that ends the round. We will be heading into round 10 of this one. Johnny Tapia, Henry Martinez for the WBO Super Flyweight World Championship. Here from the pit. The whistle for seconds out, round 10 about to get underway here. Championship rounds, 10, 11, and 12. Johnny Tapia and Henry Martinez. Martinez moving in on Johnny. Tapia just ties him up, moves him around, and now Tapia digs the left hand to the body. He's been doing that all night, and it's a thing of beauty. And now Tapia asks the crowd for some support, and he gets it. Tapia calls on the crowd, and they respond. Johnny goes, gets pushed down, and he did not appreciate that. And he comes roaring back, charging in on Henry Martinez. This crowd is just eating this up. Johnny Tapia having fun in there right now, feeling strong. And he asks the crowd again to roar for him, and he explodes on Henry Martinez. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Woo! Johnny Tapia in full effect now. This is Johnny's fight here. This is when he's, you can tell, he gets into that groove, and Henry Martinez has problems. But Martinez is just so strong and so determined. He has not hardly taking a step back all night. He comes in working behind that left hand. Oh, there's a left hand, and that, that hurt Martinez. Martinez is holding on now for the first time. Henry Martinez was really rocked with that shot, and Johnny knows it. You can just feel the the tide turning here in favor of Johnny Tapia. Going from a close even match now to Tapia starting to take control. You can feel it. But Martinez continues to work, continues to fire back. But Johnny looks out into the crowd and nodding yes. And you can, he just comes opening up now with both hands. Martinez doing all he can to, to fire back on Johnny, but Tapia now starting to take control. That ends the 10th round. We head into round 11.
what a fight, what a performance by Johnny Tapia. You can feel it in that 10th round, things starting to really move his way, the momentum shift. Two rounds to go. Henry Martinez has been strong throughout, but that last round, you can really feel Tapia start to take control. And I think Johnny felt it, you can tell. The way he was gesturing, the look on his face. Now he's talking to Paul Chavez in the corner. And the crowd with the chant of Johnny, everything going his way right now. You can feel it. A big change is with Johnny nuts to the crowd. He is just eating this up. They are giving him power and he's taking it. Okay, the referee asked for the fighters to step out of the ring. Now we start round 11 of this week. Johnny Tapia, Henry Martinez here on the eight count boxing hour. And Tapia comes out <laughs> greeting Henry Martinez. You can just sense that Johnny Tapia feels a change in this one. He has battered Henry Martinez. Martinez really with a puffed up eye, looking worse for wear. But you can see also that Henry Martinez is well conditioned and he's not backing away. He's going right at Johnny Tapia. Again now Tapia with both hands. And again, the combination punching of Johnny Tapia. And he gets with a le both left hand. Oh, and a right hand left. And he has Henry Martinez staggering back now. Martinez holds Tapia again. Johnny now really starting to take control of this one. Martinez standing back and pecking away with a jab. Oh, and he runs into a left hand from Tapia. And Johnny knows it as he acknowledges the crowd. Going to work and down goes Martinez. Henry Martinez is down and he's telling his corner something. I don't know if he can get up. The referee is counting. And the referee makes a determination. It's over. Johnny Tapia. Johnny Tapia is a new world champion. Look at him. He does a flip. His dream has been fulfilled in front of his crowd here at the pit. And this place is going crazy. Look around this arena. Wow, Johnny Tapia, the new WBO world champion. And he lifts up, uh, respectfully lifts up Henry Martinez. What a war Henry Martinez brought to Albuquerque, New Mexico, but just not enough to sustain that attack. Johnny Tapia started to take control. Around that 10th round, you could just feel the momentum shift. And then Johnny closes the show here in round 11. What a night this has been. I personally have never experienced anything like it. Johnny Tapia picks up the world title. Like he promised me 10 days ago in my home at that on that interview on the eight count boxing hour he would bring the title home to albuquerque he has fulfilled his mission johnny tapia world champion wasn't that long ago it looked like he would never experience this but here he is with a world title Johnny Tapia has done it. Johnny Tapia, promise fulfilled, dream fulfilled, world champion. Where do you see 
Johnny Stad Callop of the New Mexico Boxing Commission. Very pleased that Johnny Tapia has fulfilled his, well, his dream has come true. Fulfilled all expectations, performed well against a very well-trained and ready Henry Martinez, but Tapia using all of his skills, staying under control, and picking up the WBO World Championship. Oh, so glad you could join us tonight here on the ACL Boxing Hour, everyone. What a night. Johnny Tapia, the new world champion. Celebration begins. The entire city of Albuquerque, New Mexico, the whole state of New Mexico, celebrating their new world champion. Hello to Bob Ruiz in Omaha. Okay. To the in Omaha. <laughs> what a night. These fans are just, well, it's a celebration. Johnny Tapia has done it. And I couldn't be prouder and happier for him. If anyone deserves it, Johnny Tapia has been through, he's been through it all. And he has come all the way back. What a night here in Albuquerque, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on the 8-Count Boxing Hour. Thank you. You know, I got it later. It real well. Him and I just worked in the mountains. Tell him that you did. I met him at the station down here. I'm supposed to go see him. Next he uh, election, election day, he's got a Bobby Chez is in uh, Foxwood. I have all of us in New Jersey have off that day. We have to work the polls. It's supposed to go up and see him, but if I don't, I have to speak.